Hello, my name is Stephanie Lolly. I'm here with my dear friend, Vera Becker, to this amazing meeting, talking about composition in English and tips for an egg. Okay, how are you doing, Vera? I'm fine. I'm so glad to be here with you together, uh, like uh, helping people to improve uh, your doubts, your skill for compositions, for to choose uh, about profession, about the future, like this. Yeah. My name is Vera Becker. I'm a cooker. But I'm, I will be a teacher too. Thank you. Very good. And my name is Stephanie Lolly, as I have told you all. I live in Minas Gerais State, but I'm from Rio. I also, I am also a teacher. I have done an A. I have done many compositions, and I hope with my, um, simple way of teaching to teach you today a little bit about composition and some tips for an if the time mm, be okay for us today we have a short time so let's get started yes let's share the the screen the document ppt yes Like this. Redação em inglês é dicas para o Enem por Stephanie Loli e eu, com o apoio total de Vera Becker e o apoio da Sara. Sara Culture, cores para você imaginar. E hoje uma redação para você imaginar, né? <risos> Vamos lá para o infográfico, aprender cinco dicas especialmente para você. How, how can, can I improve my, my skill to write, Stephanie? Give me some types, please. How can I improve my skills for? For to do a, a well composition, a well ah, essay. Okay. Me dá uma dica para mim escrever uma boa composição. Sure. Or, uh, which steps I, I need to, to follow? Okay, first of all, I think we need to expand our vocabulary and how we can improve our vocabulary sure we need to improve our vocabulary through the reading reading books watching movies series reading comics books uh, novel books tri um, thriller books there are many genres that are are available for us to improve our vocabulary and when we know the words how they are type they are re written uh, we can dominate the language we can dominate the portuguese we can dominate the english or another language through the reading and there are five steps here in our infographic the first is that that i told you right now to improve the vocabulary this is the first one okay okay what do you right. think about it Vera? i think you are so so right about this because when when uh, we read some some words we know about the the means of, of uh, it and we uh, improve our vocabulary and our phrase and our mind is open. I think it, yes. that's it, the, the way, I, I agree. And uh, we watch the movies and series 
with subtitles this important too because you you learn the 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 words and in a contest in a special moment and you like adivinha uh, yes the the means you of the words that. yes and you in the same in same moment you improve your listening too i Very think good. i think i think this I totally agree with you. The second uh, step that I, I advise people to follow is to pronounce, it, to pronounce the words in a correct way. And when we talk, when we speak in a correct way with people, we write in a correct way. This is like a mirror like a mirror, this reflects in our mm. lives, the mm. way we speak in our daily life, we reflect it in our composition. If I speak very wrong, in a very way, in a very wrong way, I will make a very wrong composition. That's very uh, obvious. Do you agree, yeah. Vera, or no? I, I, will, I will explain this in, in Portuguese. Se você okay. fala, fala errado, você escreve errado. That's it? Isso, exatamente. If you talk in a wrong way, you uh, write in a wrong way. That's it? Okay, okay. Can you give an example, too? Uh, what there is a, a person, oh, a person no. that uh, 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 inspir, 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 uh, inspired, uh, inspires in this this meeting. Meeting. Uh, yes. Very yes. good. Hello. Say your name, please. Hi, my name is Luisa Kranmeier, and I am seventeen years old. So oh, young. so sweet. Yeah, so, so beautiful. Young. And so cute. <laughs> so, so, cute. <laughs> so cute. So cute. So <laughs> cute. Um, uh, like uh, I, I have an ex example here with me. Uh, nowadays, I have a very uh, addicting. Addicting is vicio. Uh, I say like this. Será se... Será se... E é totalmente errado. Né? Será que eu vou conseguir passar no Enem 2023? Né? 2022? Então, assim, eu, eu tenho que me corrigir no meu dia a dia porque vai refletir numa redação do Enem, numa redação da USP ou em outras redações para entrevista de emprego, porque tem redação para entrevista de emprego, né? Então, a gente tem que se corrigir. Então, eu acredito que se a gente fizer isso, essa, esse policiamento, a gente consegue ter um bom reflexo nas provas. Summarizing, summarizing. You Summar... need to, to speak correctly for write correctly. Exatamente. Yeah? Yeah, nice. I agree. Oh, I agree. oh, oh. <laughs> great, a great conclusion. <laughs> yeah, this is a great conclusion. But because Thank I'm you. so, I'm so confident. Confident. Confident with I, my I my best friend, young friend here, like a, <laughs> like my my daughter. <laughs> okay. Very I'm happy. Happy. Uh, go ahead, go ahead, because go ahead. Uh, our time the is third, slow. The third one is the habit of reading regularly. Yeah. We need to read frequently, sure, because reading frequently, we will achieve new words. We will achieve uh, to know a different culture, for example, uh, one day, uh, a very, uh, in a long time ago, I watched a very interesting movie. Uh, it, it is, it's called The White Maasai, The White Maasai, a Maasai Branca. And White Maasai 
uh, teach us the Af African culture of a group of people from this, this continent. Sure, we know that Africa is a very big continent with many countries as Benin, Burkina Faso, Togo, and so on. And this, um, this, this movie taught me how can uh, two cultures like we European and African can be talked. That's it. And I think we can learn it through books, too, through comic books and so on. What do you say? I, I couldn't understand uh, this. Okay, let me translate. I, oh. I am saying that mm -hmm. when we... No, desculpa, gente, eu tenho que falar em português, tá? <laughs> Quando a gente é, lê com frequência, quando a gente assiste filmes com frequência, nós aprendemos novas palavras e nós aprendemos também culturas diferentes. Quando Sim. eu era mais nova, um tempo atrás, né, porque eu já estou um pouco mais velha, eu assisti um filme chamado A Maçai Branca. E A Maçai Branca é um filme que ensina sobre a cultura de uma tribo africana, e ensina também o choque cultural entre a tribo africana juntamente com a cultura de uma moça da Suíça, se eu não me engano. Então, euro, europeu e africano, um choque cultural. A gente aprende sobre o choque cultural e essa tribo ao mesmo tempo. Ok, ok. You improve your, your knowledge uh, uh, yes. with a regular uh, reading app. app. Exactly. I don't know if it's correct the pronunciation. Habit. 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 And about grammar, what do you think about grammar? How I can it help is, us? Uh, grammar, we generally uh, learn grammar at school, uh, in Portuguese or in English classes. So I think people don't like the grammar by itself because it does not look so attractive, but there are very many books, there are multimedia books uh, that they can help us to dominate the code of the, the specifically um, specific language. O que eu quero dizer é que, assim, tem livros multimídia que fazem se tornar a língua em questão atrativas. É, tem, uma, tem uma, uma gramática que se chama gramática sacônia. É uma gramática da capa amarela, ela é multimídia, muito linda ela, gramática de português. Eu amava ler essa gramática porque ela contava piadas, fazia muitas piadas, e eu ria muito, então era divertido aprender. E quando a gente aprende através do prazer, que é o lúdico, isso nos ajuda, né? Só que, no geral, é, a maioria das gramáticas são enfadonhas, né? E ninguém fica, pega, vai na biblioteca para comprar uma gramática. Então, assim, ao mesmo tempo, a gente precisa, só que tem essa cultura, né? existente, que eu acho que dificulta um pouco. Can I say something? Yes, yes, please. Uh, I think the topic three and the topic four are uh, an only one topic, because when you have a regular reading habit, you know a lot of things of grammar. When mm. you read a uh, Suppose I am a I am a kid and and I have the habit of reading since I was four. Well, now me on 17, I know so much things about grammar than are in dictionary, but I don't read I don't read dictionary. Mm. But I Very know good. these words because I am mm. I am have yes. Yes. And yeah. I I know these words because I I read. I have the habit of reading. very good. Yes. So yes. the grammar can be right. inside the habit, the habit of reading with frequent frequency. Okay. And 
the practicing of it, the last one of the topic here, we have the practicing. The practicing yeah. is all we are talking here. We watch movies, we watch series, we read books. Uh, we have the informal reading. There are maybe some texts that re you receive through WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram. All these kinds of readings are okay to, uh, to uh, we improve and our vocabulary uh, to improve our knowledge about grammar. What do you think about it, Vera? I, I, I think uh, I agree with you and uh, with Luiz. Uh, grammar, I, grammar is necessary to, to put the words in a, a right place, like uh, subject, verb, object direct and phrase in a context like this and when you when you study it and you read a test automatically you read this way and okay. uh, when you practice you start uh, 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 writing the first uh, composition or essay, uh, you do so-so, but when you uh, write in the 10, 20, uh, you improve and you will be better because you Very good. you're having pr uh, practice a lot. Yes, okay? uh, very, uh, very important to your, yeah. your Teach é, about... Quanto mais tu faz, mesmo que tu não começa no início, Sim. não tá muito bom, mas tu vai fazendo e tu vai melhorando. The first you do so so, the, the second better, the third more, 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 and the, the, okay. the ten uh, will be well done. Like this. Very good. I, I think I, I think. agree with you and I have my own example because I was a blogger when I was 15 years old I didn't mm, anything about writing well I became a writer I wrote many books already but I have published uh, only two Ahmed uh, Opentero Eu Sem Poemas de Psaraí and I became a writer uh, I I'm not saying for you. Oh, let's let's become a writer, okay? Let's only make a composition <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. because uh, writers right. are crazy. Writers are crazy. All writers are crazy. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Sometimes I I, I think you are so crazy. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> so. Me, fazendo uma redação, como que você pode fazer? Pega a caneta, pega o caderno, escreve lá alguma coisa que você gosta. Uma coisa, uma dica muito importante. Ai, eu não sei escrever na terceira pessoa do singular, na terceira pessoa do plural. Meu, pega um diário, começa a escrever sobre você, sabe? É o autoconhecimento, também ajuda muito. É, a você é, nessa nesse, nesse navio, né? que é na escolha da sua profissão para a sua vida. E finalizando, é, well, como sempre well. é curto, we, I would like to show where I am here. Can you see? Yes. 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 Okay, this is my natural office. Yes, I is. have here some books by Unia Selvi, Inglês Acadêmico. It's a very interesting book. I have literature, North American literature, very important too, because there is culture, American culture, the beginning oh. about the Indians, the native, the people from England, and English from uh, the island, Britain Island, literature, English literature, very interesting too. I love these. Good. Do you love this, Vera? Do you Good remember tips. this book? 
<laughs> good, good tips. But I, I need to, to, to say something about uh, tips for, for Enem. É, uhum. é, a redação para o Enem elege cinco competências em específico, né? Isso. Tá? As, as redações, no geral, requer formalidade, palavras simples, acadêmicas, coesão e coerência. Exatamente. A pontuação é um pouco diferente no inglês, por exemplo, a vírgula Oxford no inglês. Do you know Sim. about Oxford no inglês? Uh, 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 a vírgula é dot, dot, né? Dot. Dot, dot é vírgula, né? Uhum. Uh, o inglês, uh, quando a gente faz casa bonita e, e grande, aí o inglês é assim, casa bonita, vírgula e grande. E no português Isso. nós usamos casa bonita e grande sem a vírgula antes do e. Sim, então, exatamente. no inglês tem essa diferença, é a vírgula de Oxford, famosa vírgula de Oxford. Tá? Very good! E exemplos de citações são ótimos aliados, por isso é importante ler. Como exatamente. O meu, professor, o meu professor de redação, I will talk this in Portuguese, ok? okay. Mas o meu professor de redação, ele sempre fala que é importante ler até as notícias de jornal, porque isso é repertório sociocultural para tu fazer uma redação boa. Isso. Muito legal. Uma dica. Uma... Good, Very good. Good, good, good time. Good tip. Uh, good good. tip. Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry. É, eu só gostaria de complementar falando dessa, dessa quinta e última competência que o Enem pede, né? Que é a elaboração de uma proposta de solução para os problemas abordados. É, uhum. respeitando os direitos humanos. Na USP, não tem essas, essas competências, por exemplo. Eu já fiz a prova da USP e é bem diferente, né? Já o Enem, ele pega muito na questão dos direitos humanos. E é legal que você ganha ponto quando você vai com essa política de intervenção, falando assim, ó, por exemplo, ah, é necessário que haja é, uma formação para os professores, para que eles aprendam é, no, as novas tecnologias, como Vera fez no ensaio dela, aprenda as novas tecnologias para introduzir melhorias de ensino, aprendizagem dentro da sala de aula. Eu falei para vocês, gente, que escritor é doido, tá? Então, assim... <risos> então, assim se vocês pegarem uma coisa mais simples também, mais tranquila, mais relax, né? mais... É, mais mas, assim, curta, também é válido. O importante é que vocês coloquem essa, essa quinta competência, porque vale ponto, né? É... Não é, gente? Sim, tá certo? vale bastante. <risos> Não, vale bastante. E eu acho que uma, uma, uma good tip for a, a, a person, young person, is to be calm, to be... Uh, uh, not anxious yeah because it's it's not the 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 end of the world it's yeah. only only one test of the a lot <laughs> of tests that they will that you will be in the, the your life okay yes. Yes. then uh, go uh, in, in, a, in a simple way in a simple Uh, uh, words, but yes, they, they, uh, uh, do what you know. Don't uh, uh, invent anything. Okay. Yes. Only simple. O que tu sabe fazer, faça o que tu sabe fazer. Bem simples. E, e, but the, these ideas need to to be connected. Ok? You need to yes. be a, 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 a composition with the uh, beginning and uh, uh, the middle, where we have to, to ideas that uh, normally uh, with two points, uh, negative and positive points, and yes. finish a, a conclusion. What do you think? It's only this, only this. Yes, only. I think I think this is my tip for all people that uh, will be a, a composition in a uh, anyway moment. I agree. 
Uh, I also would like to give the last um, the last tip uh, about the nota de corte. Para fazer a escolha da nota de corte. Gente, eu fiz Enem cinco vezes, tá? Porque eu não sabia o que, que eu queria ser na minha vida. Então, eu precisei é, colocar isso na minha cabeça. Nota de corte é importante. The nota de corte, I don't know how to say this in English, but the grade uh, that the course is requiring is necessary to you. Uh, you need to pay attention about this because this will reflect, reflect on your result. Uh, I I have done a name five times because I didn't pay attention about it. That's it. What means not de corte? Nota de corte é a nota que foi aceito. Ah, média para te passar? É, exatamente. Ah, simple. Mm -hmm. Only simple. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry about this. <laughs> Only simple. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> you need to, to enter in a, in a way it's oh, more, more, more calm, more, more co confident. That's because when confident. I had when I had a, a low grade, I wished to be a, a doctor, a um, lawyer, and these two uh, professions in Brazil they require a very high grade, right? Right, and I right. didn't pass the NA because of this, because uh, this was, I was not in harmony with my grade by my own and the grades that the, the courts required. That's it. Okay, thank you. Are good uh, types, good types yeah. I have today. <laughs> if, I, uh, if I need to do again uh, start only things i i will record it about our conversation yes. with Louisa, stephanie oh great person <laughs> <laughs> great idea <laughs> i would like to say thank you Louisa. thank you very for this oh. opportunity thank and you. it was a very good meeting uh this is a night in here in Mirabella City. Yeah. Thank you everyone for being here watching with us. I hope our tips help you in your life. Okay? Okay. okay. Thank you uh, for you, Stephanie. I love it, your your office at environment. It's <laughs> it's, it's so <laughs> special. It's so it's it's in on the the na moda. It's, it's uh, I don't know, it's done a moda, okay? <laughs> I like this. <laughs> oh, a, a little dark, but but uh, but yes. now oh. <laughs> almost I see the moon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I I I I would like to thank uh, Luisa that oh. helped us a lot. Thank a you, lot. Luisa. It was possible because her help and uh, I hope that our meeting uh, helps some person in, uh, in some way uh, in, uh, uh, improve some some questions skills like this I, I hope only this uh, 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 our sim simple meeting yes positive vibes Bye. 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 Bye.